It looks like that light is under the water pointing upward. Okay, there's fish under the dock. I can see a bass. You see where those two jet skis are? I knew it, I knew it. You got a little swim bait on? That's a decent fish. You're right, there's three or four of them. What is that? It sure as heck is, man. That's cool. That's probably what that is. You got it. And all I have is this top water on. Oh, and I hooked up with my, f oh, he come off, dang it. <laughs> That's nice, man. That's a good one. Way to start the day. Hey guys, quick intro to the video you're about to watch. So I like to do challenges and I decided to only fish with micro light tackle today. I have my five and a half foot micro light rod, four pound line, um, and only tiny lures, rooster tails, crankbaits, topwaters. Just want to see what we could catch. Having a banner day, an amazing day. Caught a bunch of fish, different species. I think between Justin and I, at Someplace Outdoors Fishing, seven or eight species of fish, and just a great day on the water. So enjoy the video. Let's get into the fishing right now. I'm sure I'll catch a hundred little bitty bluegills, but that's okay. Nice. Surf them in. Let a fish, a guad. On the cat <laughs> walk, guys. Nope. Not me. Oh, I see it now, the blue. Oh, there's one hooked up. It's a little bitty fish. <laughs> Gotta start somewhere. Oh, yeah. Just, it might be smaller than yours. They're basically the same size. A little guad. <laughs> That's cool. On the little micro light top water. That's a beautiful guad though. Look at this fool. Look at this guy. He's pretty. Thank you. Curse bloosh. That was cool. Is that a fish? It is a fish. My line just got really heavy all of a sudden. And this little baby guad just ate, he wanted to play. Whew. He just wanted to play. Well, thank you for playing. That's a beautiful Guadalupe bass, though. Really cool. Second catch of the day for me. Fourth or fifth for the boat. So, first world problems, I guess. Oh, that's a cool little silver patch on you there. Awesome. Kerp. Oh, there's a fish. That's a better fish. Well, I guess he felt like a better fish. Although I guess even a one pound fish on a micro setup is a good fish. He hit really hard. Oh, I think he's side hooked. Yep, that's why. Just another little guad. Okay, okay, okay. Chill, man, chill. <laughs> I'm going to throw you in that kayak right there if you don't chill. Well, Mr. Uh, guad, thank you. Fat belly baby. Nice. Ho! Oh, right off in front of this dock. I hope I got that strike on camera. That was cool. Oh, that's a nice quad. Look at this guy. Look at this fat quad. Right out in front of this dock. He's kind of scraggly looking. Super skinny. Oh, his mouth's all torn up. You've been caught before. Look, his mouth is all torn up. You need to get out there and eat, buddy. You're scraggly looking. Curse bloosh. There's one. There's a fish. Oh, it's a bluegill. Chong. He is hooked in the mouth, but he's also hooked in the top of the head. <laughs> That's a red breast. A red breast sunfish. I don't know where to grab you up. Okay. I guess you're gonna make it easy now. Yeah, it's a decent fish. They get wait. Oh, there's some buckets over here. Do you want to catch another one? No? No buckets. There's a bite. There's a bite. Okay, is that actually even a fish? All right, Mr. Green Sunfish, I'm embarrassed for you. Man, even the ducks are laughing at you. Although this is an, actually a really beautiful green sunfish. I guess you've got some issues now. 
All right. Well, thank you for trying. I mean, there's one. Little bass. Bass or a bluegill? Out from the side of this dock. Oh, a nice bluegill. He's trying to wrap me around the, the, the stairs. <laughs> he literally tried to wrap me up. Oh, that's a nice one. That's bigger than the other one. Another red breast. All right. Hey! <laughs> I just want to show you up to the camera, man. Why are y'all doing so, this? So micro light day. This is what you would typically expect to catch um, on micro light day. So much fun. Beautiful little uh, red breast sunfish. Curse blue. I might switch the color here in a minute if this keeps happening. Kind of a chartreuse with a gold blade. I like the gold blade and the cloudy. Oh, that's a fish, yeah. Another bluegill. Look how pretty they are in the water. Oh, another red breast, yeah. The red best sunfish actually have a longer ear flap than a long ear does. So hopefully we'll catch a long ear and we can um, go over the differences. Beautiful little red breast sunfish. Look. I made a joke. Oh, wow, this is a nice one. Look at this copper nose bluegill right here. Again, a hand size bluegill. Beautiful fish. Almost looks like a red ear hybrid, maybe. Who knows? That duck is following us. Is it? Yes. The little black with a white tail, I mean, a white head. He's definitely following us. Look, you're going to get tangled in my lap. Really? What are you doing, Smalls? Cut it out. Oh, there's a fish, too. Well, right next to the duck. Maybe the duck's good luck. Look at this copper nose bluegill. Look at this monster. It's huge. It's about as big as my hand. Yeah, that sucker, I mean, three, eight inches long at least. This is a copper nose bluegill. It's just a species of bluegill. That sucker is probably a, almost a, not half a pound, quarter of a pound. That's a good fish. That's a beautiful colors on him too. That's why we micro light fish guys right here. It today. We've caught a few. Sorry. Are you sorry though? <laughs> Are you sorry for the fish? Well, that's because you set 14 alarms, and she thinks it's food time when you set an alarm. Oh, you are good luck again, babe. Again, no way. Every freaking time, catch fish. Of when you call, and if I catch a fish, how many, and what percentage of the time? There's a fish. Right up close to shore, this one. Even though it's so glary, yeah, it is a little bass. There we go, a little guada. Oh, he spit up, look, he spit out a minute. Look, look at that. That's what they're eating right there. You see that little perch, that little bluegill? That's what they're eating, small bait fish. <laughs> I suck fish stick. <laughs> He's tiny. Get back in there. There's a fish. There's a fish. A little, yeah, it's a little large mouth. There you go. Watch these waves. There's a fish. That's a panfish. Is that a? No, oh, that's a real grande chicklid. Look at that. That's a real grande chicklid. Man, these rooster tails will catch everything. Let's see if I can do this without falling off the boat. Look how fat these guys are. They're very thick bodied. Look at that. Rio Grande Chiclet with the greens and the gold. Oh, he's got, is that some kind of fungus on his head? I don't know. Hey, there it is, there it is. We're gonna be doubled up. Largy? Awesome. All right, Mr. Chicklid, get back in the water. 
I mean, that's cool. We've caught like five or six different species on these ultralight micro light. That's a nice little bass. Yeah. There's another fish. But they're fun to catch. I'll title it the most boring fishing video you have ever seen. That might be a good title, actually. Beautiful little largy. What does he do? Oh, there's a fish right out in the middle here. We're like, geez, you must have followed it out. Yeah, oh, is he in the military? Yeah, Air Force. Is he in Lackland? Pretty little guad. It's like you're the highest ranking non-officer. At first I wasn't sure I had a fish. This fish is so small. So this is probably the most effective, if not the most boring way to fish. Boink. <laughs> Sorry, Mr. Fish, I just do yoinked you right into the side of the boat. Yoink. Make the day. I hooked a big one on this setup last time. And, okay, now this is getting stupid right here. First four problems. There's another little baby fish. That's another little green sunfish. Tiny, tiny fish, but a beautiful green sunfish. Look at the black on his fins. He's cool. Oh, that's a decent fish. Well, it feels like a better fish. He really whacked it. Super aggressive. Another little red breast. Yeah, he hit it like like he was three times that size. Here we go. Can I see a senior? And uh, I don't. It really doesn't bother me, but you know you can hear it. Oh, there's a little fish. He's like swimming sideways, like right towards the shore. Okay, where are you going? Now, well, the fish is like swimming, trying to swim onto the shore. <laughs> ding, ding, ding. Ah, another green sunfish. These things are cool. They got these solid black little fins on the bottom. They get bigger than, a lot bigger than this too. I would be hard, but yeah, I could. Oh, that's a nice for fish. Like half a second clip. Is it off? Is it off? Is it off? No. Another little. If you, took, if you, took pictures with every single fish. you know what? That'll be next year's challenge. Yeah. And I'll keep track of every single, um, a nice little red breast, um, every single species also. I'm kind of getting freight. Oh, is it off? No, it's not off. It feels like a bluegill. That's because it is. Oh, that's a big fatty again. Look at this guy. Is he a, nope, he is not a red ear. That's a really nice bluegill. These guys are fun. Hand size uh, bluegill, look colors on his head. Look at this little band of like gold and green. Cool, cool fish. I saw a fish just come sw right after yours. Yeah, it must have been the little flash I saw. Okay, there's a fish. I got one too. Doubled up. Doubled up with, oh, I was about to say two big panfish, but mine's a bass. Well, I don't know. He's not that big. I mean, he might be the biggest one I've hooked today. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Look at this guy. That's not a bad bass. Is there a bass back there? I could eat this one. <laughs> he just took right off into the shadows. That's not not a bad little bass. Hey, <laughs> get down there and eat that fish. Yeah, I can't. I don't know how many I've caught, but I've caught real grande chicklids. Yeah, it is a fat one. Another bluegill. Oh, that's a big one. We've got at least seven different species of fish. Six different species of fish. Seven? Six or seven? Another species for me. I haven't caught one of these yet. 
Let's see, what is that? That's a copper nose bluegill. Copper nose bluegill. Yep, it's a, just a variation of a bluegill. Here's another one. And they'll congregate in big schools. Like I think this is a copper nose too. Yep. Look at that one. I think most people would enjoy catching these kind of fish. Thank you, Mr. Giant Fish. As far as. There's one. There's a bite. Whoop, whoop. I do like adding to my panfish numbers. They're surprisingly low this year. Yeah, because I don't really target them specifically some, sometimes. Sometimes I do. They were back over by that dock. I th yeah, look, they're following my bass. Look straight down. They're following it. You see, there's mine. Look, look, look below it. Look at that bass. It just, yeah. That was cool. I watched him hit it. I think he's gone. That was a three pounder. Mine's not that big. Ah, that's a two pounder. Now well, maybe not two pounds. Pound and a half. That was crazy, guys. I watched this hit, this fish hit, and there was at least two or three others next to him. This was the smallest of those. Um, thank you. That was a cool situation. Oh, he's, he's right there still. Is that a bass or is that a drum? Might be a drum. Looked like a bass though. Oh, I got a little bass. Nowhere near that size. Yeah, they're like, they're moving on. Moving on. Yeah, he's still on. Fish, little bluegill, gill, gill, bluegill. Oh, well, you were about ten, 10 seconds too late. Nice bluegill. It's a monster. He's dark colored. Oh, there he is. Oh. Is it a bass? Yeah. There's a cat. That's catfish. Oh, catfish. There we got. Now, look at this, multi-species, man. We're just killing it. There's another little fish. Where are you, where are you, where are you? Get back here. Ah. Hey. Oh, there's a fish. Where are you, Mr. Fish? Man, this is either a, a bass or a really big bluegill. Oh, it's a red breast. That's a big one. That's a big, big red breast. Holy, come on, man. Oh, okay, you're gonna just be face down in there like you're a college student after on 6th Street? Come on, man. Here, go join your buddy. Oh! <laughs> and, I, and I put 76 white bass and five hybrids because we caught like 11 hybrids. One more. There's one on the grub, right out in front of that dock. <laughs> well, he's putting on a show, if nothing else. You're not as big as you're acting, my friend. That's a nice little fish. A fat little largy. Sweet. Micro light fishing. Woo. If you just want to catch fish and fall in the water. There's a fish. Got one. Slow rolling it. Off the shore. Oh, that's a that's a nice one. That's a nice quad. Just slow rolling that little uh, grub. These fish are, some of these fish have had these little white bumps all over them. That's the second or third one. That chicklet had them on there. Now I have fish herpes. Dang it. There's another one. Oh, second one in a row away from shore. 
out in about 10 foot of water just super slow rolling it like super slow oh yep all of my fish have to just be floppers stop this is with the floppy fish There's our fish. Awesome. Yeah, right off that little smoother rock edge. Hey! <laughs> oh, that's doubled up, guys. Oh, yep, I got mine in. You need the net? Uh, that's not a bad fish, though. Oh, yeah. Mine's a little, that's not a bad fish at all. Mine's a little humpbacked. <laughs> all right, well, now yours is definitely bigger. Divine swim bait. Yeah. Change it up, color and everything. Yeah, but I win because I'm using a four pound line <laughs> and a five foot micro rod. Nice. You may not enter. There's a fish. Slow swimming it away for sure. Again. Where art thou? I don't even see you. Oh yeah, nice squad. Awesome. Again, double up, again. That's like three or four times today. Oh, yes, I can't get to him. Oh. Ah. Oh, there's one. There's one. Mine's small, but it's a fish. We can close it out with a couple of fish here. There we go. Oh, another popcorn guad. Stop. Stop. I don't want to squish you. Well, I think it was a tiny, tiny bluegill, but I still missed it. You might want to go to the other side or... All right, finally got another fish. Final fish of the day for me. Let me know when you're off so I can get the motor away from the shore. Boop. About that, Mr. Fish, I had to get away from the rocks. Last fish of the day, guys. It was a very productive day out here with Justin, someplace outdoors fishing. I'm getting his name right, finally. Um, we'll link to all of his stuff and my stuff and everybody else's stuff below. Um, enjoy the video and we'll see you on the next one. Sign off. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Much more to come. Next week, we're going to have a little bit of a controversial video. Uh, pond fishing for bass for your dinner with a catch and cook. So we'll see you guys on the next one. Tight lines. Stay adventurous. And... Uh, Enjoy the view of this park in California that we're at right now. Have a good one, guys.